What's up guys, Nate here with Adventure Vehicle Upfitters again. Um, here today with our company Gladiator and our Atlas Rack. Um, today we have the capside storage on there. So we wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod here and kind of just run through some things that I've used the capside storage for and that way you can kind of get an idea of what you would possibly use it for. Um, just to run through what it is, it's a pass-through storage compartment. And it goes from driver to passenger side all the way through. Um, so I got my golf clubs in there right now. As you can see, um, I'm trying to get the last couple of good days of golf before the season turns here, but this is nice for me because I know I don't, sometimes I have people um, taking them along with me. I don't want to take up space in the cab. I also don't want to just leave them in the bed. So this gives me a place to lock them up and keep them nice and safe while I'm not golfing or at a restaurant or working or whatever. Um, so that's just kind of an example of one thing you can use it for, but we got quite a few things I'll throw in there for you guys, just so you can see some of the utility with the rack. Uh, so let me set you up here. So you can see it, it's got a weather seal on there closes up, it's steel, um, nice and tough, good lock on there, no one's getting in, it's waterproof, it's secure, um, it's pretty beefy and we wanted it that way just to make sure it's going to last and keep our stuff safe, whether that's camera equipment, golf clubs, um, a lot of guys would have like a tool bag that they'd want to put in there, um, and you could line that thing up with a few tools, the other day I was helping my dad lay some hardwood flooring and I had my Festool saw which is a pretty expensive saw that I kept in here and locked away um, so that I just had peace of mind you know on the way there on the way back uh, while we we're in the house working before we needed the saw things like that um, some other things that I use it for ski boots um, you're done skiing for the day and you have a car full of people, so you don't want to put wet ski boots in there. I also don't want to leave them out in the bed to get stolen. So I kind of load everyone's boots and gear in here that we don't want stolen, but we also don't want in the cab. And it's lock safe and good. Um, other things, for some of you overlanding guys, um, some people would want to Put their roto packs or their water packs in here locked away. Um, I'm sure you could either just set it in here or uh, we've seen it, or you could put a mount in here and keep them up off the ground nice and secure like they should be. Um, so some people use it for water or other overlanding gear or your recovery packs or anything like that. Another good one is the super expensive Yeti cooler. Fits in there nice. Um, you can fit a few of them. Or this and your tubes if you're going tubing down the river or whatever it is. Um, also just want to show you guys how big it is. This is a full canopy and it does fit across there. Uh, so this is a 10 by 10 pop-up canopy. And it fits in there with about six inches of spare on the other side. Uh, so you have plenty of width because um, you're up and above the rim of the truck. So you have that additional width here and you can store things as big as canopy golf clubs, all your bigger items like that in here as well. So I'll kind of walk you around it. There's a door on each side. These are 
uh, steel constructed doors. Um, there's a hinge that we put that keeps it up. So it takes quite a bit to push it down. Um, you could, it's not going anywhere. So these are adjustable if you want it to slide down slowly or if you like to slam it, if you want, you could. Um, another thing just to point out while I have you guys on here with the rack, I just picked up some plywood because we have a job this week. So we just wanted to show you guys before I took the plywood out what it looks like to put some lumber or something for a project in here and how it fits under the cargo storage. But there's plenty of room in the back of the bed if you need to. I can't really do this with one hand, but slide it out and tilt it up. There's plenty of room for you there. Um, and then here it is on the other side, same thing. Nice door follows the shape of the rack. And we're really happy with the way it came together. So any questions, let us know. There'll be a link to the rack and the cargo storage for the Gladiator and the Tacoma um, on the video. The Gladiator rack and cargo storage are up and open for sale. Um, Tacoma short bed is also up and open for sale. So uh, those guys are ready to go on the website. Should be a five week delivery time on those. Everything else is coming shortly after. But for you Tacoma guys, we are ready to go for you guys. So thanks for watching. See ya.